Swanson, ladies and gentlemen, night number two of Indiana Sprint Week, and it's time to cowboy up here in Lawrenceburg. Green flag is out, side by side into turn number one. Thorson to the inside, he tries to slide up in front of Swanson. Swanson takes a peek down the backstretch, side by side for the lead into turn number three. Swanson with the side advantage. Here comes Thorson fighting back on the outside. Who's going to lead lap number one? Jake Swanson. Tanner Thorson answers right back with a power move down to the inside. He slides up the track. Jake Swanson and stays at home. Thorson has to save it and correct. He now opens the door to Logan Seavey. The 20 of Tyler Kendall pulls up. As he encounters lap traffic. Yeah, exactly. Jake Swanson in lap traffic, but it's Kevin Thomas Jr. who has picked up a position in the running order as he's gotten around Scotty Weir. So move KTJ from sixth up to fifth. Scotty Weir now has to deal with Robert Ballou. That's a race we've seen going for a little while now. Halfway home in this one. 15 down, 15 to go. And boy, Jake Swanson is just moving through lap traffic very quickly right now, Chad. Yeah, threading the needle inside, outside. He is doing a whale of a job, but right now his lead is shrinking. His lead is shrinking. It looks like he's trying to put Stockton a lap down. Is that the five of Stockton? Yes, it is. And Swanson looks to the inside, but here comes Thorson and CV right on the tail tank of Swanson. Tanner Thorson is there. He looks to the inside of Jake Swanson. Swanson gets held up by lap traffic. Thorson slides up the track in two, but he has taken over the race lead. Tanner Thorson now out in front. Jake Swanson is not going to give it up without a whale of a fight. Swanson draws even with Thorson down the front straightaway. Swanson goes all the way to the bottom of turn number one. Moves Swanson back to the race lead. Logan Seavey now enters the chat as Tanner Thorson works to the inside in three. They get so close, but it's going to be Swanson leading another lap. Oh, boy. Scary, scary stuff there in turn four, but they made it all work. Thorson threw a haymaker on Swanson. He couldn't complete the pass. They're still chasing some of the back hip here. Back into turn number one and two they go. Swanson a little bit sideways off of turn number two. Here goes CB to the inside. Jake Swanson opens the door. Logan CB walks right on through. Jake Swanson recovers quickly. He's going to go right after the new race leader. Logan CB from Sutter, California now has control of this race. And Chad, you talked about it. The last time you sat was here at the Lawrenceburg Speedway was for midget week. Logan CB won that midget feature. He also won the weekly Lawrenceburg 410 non-link sprint car feature. Sevo, the white flag will wave. This time by Chief Starter, Tom Hansing lets Logan Sevi know he is one lap away from the victory here on night number two of NOS Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week by Amswell. Jake Swanson dominating this one for so long, but a small mistake opened the door, and Logan Sevi has made the absolute most out of it. We have a red flag. One car upside down over in turn number two. And don't write the name on the check just yet. This one is not over. Jaden Rogers, the driver in the number 14, tosses his steering wheel out. Who will win in Lawrenceburg? Stay tuned and find out. Seavey works the top side. Thorson throws a haymaker on Jake Swanson. Swanson jumps on the brakes, turns left, gets back right around for second position. Chad White Flag's going to wave here as Seavey has been so good in these last eight to ten laps. He brings him underneath the starter stand to see the white flag. He won here in the midget. Then that same night, he won in the 410 non-wing sprint cars. He's going to work him out of three through four. Night number two of Indiana Sprint Week belongs to Logan Seavey. Jake Swanson.